City of Stevens Point Public Protection Committee meeting, recorded March 9, 2020. I'll call the meeting of the Public Protection Committee to order. It looks like everyone is here and we have a quorum. First up is the license list. New operators, bartenders, and taxi cab drivers licenses. Assistant Chief Zenner, any issues with anybody on the list? No issues. Okay, any comments from anybody on the committee? I'll make a motion to approve the new operator's license list. Okay, I'll second motion it. and, um, okay, we'll give it to Alder Fischler. <laughs> so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor of approving, vote by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion's carried. Next item on the agenda is a request to hold event and street closings. We can take those all at once, but I'll talk about each one. The first one is from the Special Olympics for their St Wisconsin State Summer Games, June 4th to 6th, 2020. Great organization, um, great opportunity for people in the community to volunteer as well. Uh, the second event is the Central Wisconsin Symphony Orchestra Solstice mm -hmm. fundraiser on June 18th, 2020. Uh, nice uh, dinner and music uh, at down at Piffner Park. And the third request is the Stevens Point Pride Parade Festival or Pride Stevens Point Pride Festival on June 19th, 2020. And I believe, I know we've done the Special Olympics and the Solstice and the Pride Festival before. Uh, Assistant Chief Center, any issues with any of these licenses or requirements? No issues. The only one requesting law enforcement would be the Pride Fest, uh, and that would be auxiliary and police officer uh, request. And uh, we did have some uh, incidents that took place down there last year. We would be requiring two contractual officers on site also with uh, auxiliary to assist with trout, uh, crowd control. And, but other than that, you have no problems no with, with uh, that level of parade. No. Any comments from people on the committee? From people in the audience representing any of the organizations? Okay, so we'd be looking for a motion. So Alder moved, Dalton? Move to request the, the uh, approve the event street closing. Second by Alder Dugan. Any, one more time, any comments? Okay, we've got a motion and a second. Those in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, those requests are approved. Number three is an ordinance amendment for Chapter 7, Health and Sanitation, Section 7.07, .07, Legislative Findings and Direct, uh, I'm sorry, Declarations, renamed to regulation of cigarettes, e-cigarettes, electronic delivery devices, tobacco products, and smoking. Um, I think this is pretty straightforward. It's cleaning up some language. Is the, would, uh, Attorney Beveridge, would you like to say anything about this? Or, um, one of the things that I noticed, um, there was a comment, it's, it, it's on the first page, uh, and it's the first comment that's on the side. And it said, are these statements accurate for vapor products? And it was uh, smoking and electronic delivery devices. The CDC and Merriam-Webster both call them e-cigarettes. So I don't know if you need, if there was more clarification there or, or not. Actually, I think probably the best thing to do would just be to remove those sections um, as we move forward towards a finalized version of this. I think sort of those recitations of here's the reasoning behind the policy, they're just not the kind of thing that really is necessary, okay. um, especially when you, the original language for this 
came from the, the smoking ban back in, I believe, 2009. Mm -hmm. That was prior to the establishment of any uh, of those regulations at the state level. So municipalities were going out on a bit more of a limb in terms of what they had the legal authority to regulate there. And I think there was probably more of a defensive uh, defensive legal jujitsu move on the part of uh, whoever drafted it to say we're going to insert all these things about findings by this and that uh, entity and I think at this point that's probably not necessary to include that so we could just delete it. So it's just, this again basically just cleaning up language and getting rid of stuff that's not necessary for the ordinance. Yeah and I just you know if we're going to include that I'd want to go and make sure that what we're saying is actually truthful okay. with regards to e-cigarettes and that would require digging through a bunch of agency literature for EPA and all these different things and probably a better bet is just take it out because it's not actually an operative part of the ordinance it's just there to say here's why we're doing this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, thank so you very much just comments that's just that section that's going to be taken <coughs> out as being the environmental protection agency and the Surgeon General of the United States that part will be out, correct? This whole section is what the Paragraphs. attorney is oh, recommending. Yeah. The, the findings and declarations. Okay. Yeah, so imagine it just starting with the definitions on its Yeah, so um, it, it looks like it's, you know, in, indents and paragraph numbers and things. It's mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. So um, any questions or comments from anybody on the committee? Uh, Assistant Chief, anything you guys have to <laughs> Worry about that stuff when you're working with you. <coughs> so. Any questions? I'll just ask that guy up there. So. <laughs> and just a quick note later on, where you see a bunch of language crossed out, that relates to exceptions that were created at the time the smoking ban was initially made that applied to things like bowling alleys and some other stuff. And obviously, those, those, those fall under the umbrella of uh, state law regarding smoking at this point. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Any comments from anybody in the audience? Okay. Seeing none. I do have a question. So, um, in parks, um, what is it legally for, in Stevens Point, for parks for people um, in our city parks, like down at Riverfront and down at um, the bands and stuff? Is that it's a public place, but it's open space? So, does that mean it's okay? That's yes, okay it is allowed. Okay, just wanted to double check yeah. that I understand. So far, that. although I think. And that would include any public space, uh, the public market, parking lots that the city owns, um, any outdoor facility. I noticed that when I was down there last year, there were quite a few people that were getting annoyed with the vaping, even though you know everybody was thinking it was okay at that time. But that cloud of smoke was more than a cigarette would do, and it just would go, a big cloud would just float back behind these people. It was like really annoying. But I just wanted to know if that was still okay to do. Okay. Good deal. Anything else? Thank you. Okay, we would be looking for a motion. Alder um, Nabel. Hi. Um, I would like to move to approve the ordinance amendment for Chapter 7 um, on the legislative findings and declarations for so, um, health and sanitation, Section 7.07. .07. And do we have a second? Alder Dalton. Uh, again, any more comments or questions? Uh, anybody in the audience? Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Those in favor would vote by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. That's carried. And before we adjourn, I'd like to take a little privilege as the chair to once again thank Alder Dugan for her masterful chairing of the committee last, last month. <laughs> I did watch the video. It was very entertaining, and I was glad that you were the chair. <laughs> thank you. And I'd like to wish Alder Nabel a very happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we're adjourned at 6.09. video of this meeting is available for viewing on the city's website, stevenspoint.com slash videos. 